Okay, in our last video, we have seen how we can print a text in the notebook environment. For the notebook environment, we had chosen the Jupyter Notebook. And in this video, we're going to see how we can print a text using the tab one kind of a text editor. So the I'm using the Sublime Text Editor. You can easily download it and look it up in your web search. Okay, so to do that, we're just going to do the same thing. We write in print about that print give the parentheses and here we write let's say the same thing as before learning python okay so uh, running the print in the notebook environment was uh, rather easier than what we're going to see in the text editor environment so to run this code the text editor certainly doesn't know if this is a python code if this is a c plus plus code if it's a javascript or any kind of other things like that so at first we need to save it as a python code to do that i'm going to click on the files then i go to save as there you go i'm saving it on desktop uh, let's call it learning or learn there you go and then i give the extension of dot py dot py meaning it's the python code and if you want to change the uh, type from the save as type you can do that as well but i'm just writing the extension myself i'm going to save it as long as soon as i have saved it you can see that the colors have changed so the command is now showing in blue color and whatever the text is going to be printed is now showing in the green color so how do we execute the command right to execute the command we need our let's type in cmd there you go okay this is going to take okay so we need our command prompt here there we go so we saved it on desktop right so i need to change the directory to desktop we talked about this in the very first video right so desktop there you go i've changed it so we're now in desktop now i write in python python there you go give it a space and then i have saved it with the l right so i type in l then i press on the tab there you go learn.py right then i hit enter and as you can see learning python has been executed here so that is how you run your code if you are using the text editors okay so that was it for this video thank you very much for watching